For the first time ever, Puerto Rico will have the opportunity to launch a satellite into space. The PR CubeSat NanoRocks 2 satellite is a team project made by students from the Bayamón campus of the Inter-American University of Puerto Rico and their professor Amilcar Rincón Charriz. The satellite weighs 5.6 pounds and is made with aluminum, photovoltaic cells, batteries, and other materials approved for use in space. The PR CubeSat NanoRox 2 will carry microparticles of various materials, including stainless steel and silicon. These microparticles will be in motion as long as the satellite is in space. The movements and collisions of the microparticles will be recorded and photographed as part of a scientific investigation that seeks to study the origin and development of planets, asteroids, and young stars. This part of the mission is carried out in collaboration with the Florida Space Institute and the Physics Department of the University of Central Florida. The satellite will be delivered to the NanoRax company in Houston, Texas. There, they will test electrical connections, the satellite's dimensions, as well as its mass and functionality. After Texas, the satellite will be flown to Cape Canaveral, Florida, for its launch into space. The satellite will be launched into space inside the Falcon 9 rocket, mission 23 of the SpaceX company of the famous businessman Elon Musk to the International Space Station. Once launched, the Dragon capsule will separate from the rocket and carry the PRQNAR2 satellite that are all part of NASA's E La Na 36 project. The journey from takeoff to arrival at the International Space Station will last approximately nine hours. Once the satellite reaches the space station, it is expected to be in position with an orbit of 56 degrees. Upon reaching its 56 degree orbit, the PR CubeSat NanoRox 2 satellite will be launched into space using an extendable arm that the NanoRax company has on the space station. The 56 degree orbit was chosen for the satellite because that is how it will pass over Puerto Rico twice a day for 10 minutes. PR QNAR2 will remain in orbit for approximately two years before being attracted to the atmosphere of the Earth and disintegrating. During its orbit around the Earth, the satellite will be recording and photographing the microparticles that are the object of its investigation. Thanks to our sponsors and to the Inter-American University for making this project possible.